Libraries are really community spaces and I think that's their fundamental success into the 21st century that librarians have realised that they're not just repositories for books, they're really places for people to come and enjoy, to use um, their destinations in many rights um, for the local community. You know, and libraries are community centres and um, I think it's really fantastic to come here today and see the place you know, so chockers full of people working away, reading, studying, socialising and that's what, what libraries are all about. Lively, um, they should be destinations. Um, you know, those old fashioned libraries were places where you came, got your book and ran home and read it. Where our modern libraries are community centres. People come into them, they use them as a resource in their own right. They, they may not be borrowing anything, they just might be using the space. Really, fundamentally, community centres with books in them. In an office building you want to feel that you're connected with all the other spaces and the inclusion of um, connecting void spaces, the, the circular stair that rises up through it in a very dynamic way the links to the local community through lots of glass to, the, to link um, out to the views and the surrounds. They're all things that make it a dynamic and active space. I think the way we work is we see the libraries are very much about communities and creating the third space. Um, they are about weaving the urban fabric together. So in this case, this, the library actually faces both the main road but also um, connects through, and there's an internal street that connects right through the building to the rear parking and the council admin building at the back. And it's a sort of a seen as an extension and is always seen right back in the early phases of the design as a way of connecting the street through the library from the, you know, as the library is part of the public domain. And it's been very important as a part of that process. You know, architecture, I think it's also about, it's not some sort of monument to the architect. It's something, it's a living, evolving community entity, which people enjoy for its own right. You know, the architecture is only a part of making that work. It's the spaces, it's the people that are using it, it's the whole dynamics of the, of the facility. We've got insulated glass in its double glazing, which was chosen specifically um, for both thermal properties and um, we have a really high energy efficient glass on the outside to manage the heat loads on the western facade. Performatech. The Performatech product that we've got on the outside of the building. And on the inside uh, leaf of the glass, we have an acoustic glass. The site being adjacent to one of Sydney's major roads and uh, aircraft noise over the top, you know, we also had to work really hard with that glazing system to both achieve the thermal properties as well as acoustic properties that was needed for this library. I think the hard things, and I often say that anybody can design, you know, architects can design anything with, you know, that, that's the skill sets they bring. I think one of the important things is that once you've got experience in a certain design type, you bring the subtleties to it. And I think that's a really important part of architecture is understanding the subtleties, understanding how people react and move through that type of building um, becomes fundamental in its success.